some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a live stream with a Savtard guru who got arrested recently. And he's attempting to explain away the rationale behind his arrest, but falls completely flat on his face. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So this video is going to be about... How did I get arrested while being on the do not detain list? What happened? What I got charged for and everything like that, right? So let me explain something, right? So I'm, I'm gonna start the story over and I'm gonna let you guys understand why, right? So I'm driving down Golf Road, right? I'm in, I'm in Illinois, so I'm driving around Golf Road. We're not even a few seconds into your explanation as to why you got arrested and already I spot a flaw. You say you were driving. What about you were traveling? Isn't that what you always uh, try to instill in your students? I am traveling, not driving. But now you say you are driving. So which is it? Because isn't driving, in your opinion, uh, only for commercial purposes? while traveling is in is for the private or something like that but please continue on a little longer than a few minutes later so we, we pulled inside he said hey man what's going on i said what's up he said hey man your um your lights i mean not your light your license plate coming back as a subaru or something like that you got a license or registration and i said um yeah hold on i show him you know the passport he said oh man you got a uh, license you don't got no license or registration i said no nah. He said, why not? You know, in the state of Illinois, you must have a license and registration. And I said, you know, I'm traveling, sir, or whatever the case might be. And yet another mistake right there, dude, because according to Illinois state law, you're supposed to have a driver's license and present it to the officer at the traffic stop itself. And you can and will be arrested if you don't have one. So you still are at fault. There's... You don't need to be making excuses as to why you got arrested. It's as simple as this uh, statement right here on this uh, law statute right here. So he ended up going back to his car. I ended up giving him the slip, you know, to say a life lifetime concealed weapons permit, you know, do not detain, no arrest. So he ended up saying, okay, um, when he went back to the car, and you know, I seen another uh, another officer coming, right? So the other officer coming right behind him. So when the other officer coming right behind him, he ended up coming back, you know, like 15, 10 minutes later. So I'm thinking like, ah, right, everything good. But uh, but then he was like, hey man, you know, we can't verify if this car stolen, like what y'all watched in the video. So he said like, you know, can I check on the inside of it? And I said, look, it's right on the outside. So he told me, he said, all right man, I need you to step out the vehicle. And I said, I can't do that. And he said, man, I don't want to make this bad. Can you please step out the vehicle? I'm telling him, I'm like, no, I can't do that, you know? And so a couple more tries, a couple more tries. Minutes go past. Then he actually started getting more aggressive. So he ended up putting his hand over and opening the door. And I'm like, you already know, I ain't finna, I'm not finna waste time doing all that, right? So I ended up getting out the car. And um, after I got out the car, that's when they put me in handcuffs, right? And so... You know, they said search the car. So once they searched the car and everything like that, they end up finding the gun. So the officer was like, okay. Um, then they start looking more plays. They start finding bullets or whatever the case might be. And so when they start finding that stuff, the officer came back, read me my Miranda rights like 30 minutes later. He was like, you got the right to remain silent or whatever, you know, but it looked like you're going to be charged with a UUW. A UUW is unlawful carrying because you don't have a license, right? Same shit that was in Florida, right? Listen, douchebag, I done told you once that Florida has become a constitutional carry state. You need to do your research on this, dude. And in your live stream, I tried to tell you this, but you just blew me off, even though I provided evidence for it. But you, so if you don't want to listen to a word anybody else has to say, then that's your own damn fault, dude. I mean, if you're going to be that damn thick headed, you deserve what you get. So. When, so when I went through that whole little thing, the officer said, okay, we got, we gonna end up have to take you in. Now imagine, you asked me, have I ever been arrested? I told him, no, nah. because if I told him, yeah, all the information that they got on me, such as driver's license, state ID will apply to me. So 
when they end up taking me in, we end up doing initial fingerprint to see if anything come back. So once we did the fingerprint, they put me in a holding cell. I was in the cell about five hours, right? So then he came back, okay, and said, okay, you charged with a UUW by felon. It's different. A UUW is not having a license. A UUW by felon is a person who prohibited from carrying firearms, right? Well, gee, that's not good. Maybe next time you should actually check your car to see if there's any weapons inside of it. But but I assume it was yours anyway, considering how interested you are in firearms. I mean, I know I was in that live stream the other day, a few weeks ago, actually, where you were uh, misquoting a bunch of gun laws as well. So, yeah, I know you think you know the law, but you actually don't. So, same thing I was charged with in Florida, right? So, after they charged me with that, that's when I went ahead and... um. That's when I went ahead and was like, okay, I'm charged with that. Perfect. So once I read my criminal complaint and everything like that, they put uh, um, my driver's license and they put my state ad oh, and put my driver's license number, which I don't have in the state, and put a fake address. So, you know, once I seen that, I noticed they did the same thing back in May when I got um when they gave me that criminal citation, they did the same thing in May. They did the same thing, nothing else. What they did was they hand me a citation of my driver's license. And this is what I want to explain to y'all, right? And it's, it's fucked up. It might sound fucked up, y'all. It, it's, it's fucked up. It's not that the passport don't work. It's that even though you surrender your driver's license, right? You still have that file on... on uh, on a profile, right? Within that state. When I go to any other state like Florida, Georgia, Texas, I never obtain any identification card. So anytime they get in contact with me, they couldn't even go back into my original state database to pull that ID up. They can't do that. They don't even have access to it. Only Illinois State Police have access to my uh, surrendered driver's license and my surrendered state ID. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's messed up that we contracted ourselves at 19, 18 years old and after we subject ourselves to the jurisdiction, it's like we mess ourselves up. You know, that's something that's always gonna be tied to their system. It's something that I can't control. It's something that the next man can't control. The reason why we can't control it is because those contracts will forever be in a database. Because every time I get pulled over, the same information come back. The same information, that my same old address, my same ID number, in order for them to bond over the case. You get what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I get what you're saying. The police were doing their jobs when they were trying to book you in. The only information they had on you is what they wrote down, which was a previous address. Not a fake one, but a previous address that you lived at. Lived at. Probably your, uh, where you were living, living at when you were first on the driver's license record. Or when you were charged with that felony or something like that. I mean, yeah, you are charged with a felony and you to lied to the damn police about it. And you admitted as much earlier in this video. So let's just go ahead and carry on with your stupidity. With that being said, I can't wait to get out of Illinois. And I'm going to tell y'all something else, right? So the judge originally put me on house arrest. And I was like, what the fuck? Why would they put me on house arrest? So they created special conditions. I ended up going to court today for a motion to dismiss for the lack of personal jurisdiction. Now, the judge is very lenient. Like, don't get me wrong. He's a nice judge. He, he respectful. You know, I'm respectful. So, you know, um, he ended up denying my motion. But he actually told me, like, hey, I can take you off house arrest. He said, yeah, we can grant you the motion to take you off house arrest. Now, does the state have any objection? The state was like, no, we don't have any objection. So, boom, I'm, off, I'm about to get off house arrest two weeks, under two weeks. So, this is the same shit. It's a different day. And it can happen in your home state. This can happen in your home state. When I'm in Florida, I don't have none of these issues because I'm not from Florida. I never obtained an ID in Florida, and I never will. When I move to Texas, I never obtain anything from Texas. But I still got to handle my old dirt back home. You get what I'm saying? So this ain't my first rodeo, y'all. I've been through this already. Smacked it at trial. But this time, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on what my defense is going to actually be. Because today, I fired my public defender. They said, are you the public defender? They said, that's strange. You didn't make a foul on, on this behalf? And, and he was like, no, I never made this foul. They said, I said, I made this foul. They said, yeah. They said, but he's representing you. I said, no, he's not representing me. And they said, okay, so are you, a fi are you firing your attorney? I said, yes, I am firing my attorney. He's not my attorney. He does not represent me adequately. 
at all. If anything, he would mess me up at the end. Yeah, the lawyer is not exactly going to go do anything illegal for you, so that's why you don't want him. And uh, going pro se is not exactly a good idea for somebody as dumb as you. But like I said, let's go ahead and carry on and uh, see what else you have to say that's incredibly stupid. But there's only so much stupid I can handle. So, yes, and a state ID is jurisdiction, y'all. The state ID, listen, there's nothing I can do. It's nothing. There's nothing I can do besides the fact that if I got contracts in this state, those contracts are forever. It's, it don't even go away. Even if I surrendered it, it's good to surrender. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But it doesn't do anything that effective because it never deletes. Even if you surrender, it's still on their database. It's still in their system. You get what I'm saying? And that's why you have to use the old ID. I was in Florida and I caught some drama. And when the police stopped me and asked me for my address, I told them I live in the United States of America Republic. So the the... the the, the police house couldn't even do nothing. He said, damn, we can't even bond over a case because we got no ID on file for him. You know, something tells me that's a bunch of bullshit. Can you provide a citation for that or any other way you can prove that claim that you can come here to Florida and uh, just walk around without an ID and you'll be fine? Oh, wait, no, you can't because, well, I live in Florida and I've had I have to have a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle in this state. And let me tell you something about Florida. I recently bought myself another vehicle and took my old vehicle off the insurance and forgot to register my uh title with the DMV. I mean it was just a slip of the mind. But in a few weeks, they sent me a lovely looking letter saying that they were going to remove, revoke my driving privileges if I didn't uh, do that portion. And yeah, so they'll do that to you. So I took my butt to the DMV and got it situated before anything happened. And if you... So I know what you're saying about Florida is a bunch of BS to begin with. And that's the reason why I say it. I promise you guys... I promise y'all, the do not detain list work, but you have to not be in your home state. If you like my situation, like you are so quote unquote convicted felon or whatever. So if I'm in Texas, I can carry a gun. If I'm in Louisiana, but in my home state, I'm going to have issues. And I've done it long in my home state before. Like it, it ain't like it's like I just started. I've been carrying in my own, in my home state, but. Sorry, guys. I just got to end it right there because the stupid is definitely strong with this one because he just admitted that the, uh, do not detain list will not work in your own home state. So therefore, you're screwed. So he just argued himself into a corner and couldn't get himself out. He moved the goalposts so badly that, well, he's not going to be able to score a goal anyway. So it basically comes down to this. He was trying the do not detain list argument in his own home state, and he just admitted that it doesn't work in your home state. I mean, that is just very ridiculously stupid to begin with. I mean, the whole concept of the do not detain list as far as the sovereign citizens go is a stupid little concept all its own now he's saying it doesn't work in your home state which is essentially moving the goal posts so i like i said i'm just going to end it right here and uh so until next time i will see you guys on the next one